afternoon, everyone. Thank you so much for joining us um, this afternoon for this Cash International Update webinar. Um, I'm delighted to be joining you all um, and saying hello. Um, my name is Mike Potts, and I'm going to talk you through what I'm going to be doing for you in a little bit of time. Um, just some kind of um, housekeeping stuff throughout the session. Please ask as many questions as you want. Um, to the right-hand side in your webinar options, there's a chat function. So you can store up any questions you want in there, and I will be picking them up either at the end of the session or throughout. So please just keep um, asking as we go through, and we will try and answer everything for you. Um, what I'm going to be asking for, again, at the end of the session, I've done a really small survey. It shouldn't take too long. Just to ask you guys what it is in the future you would like these sessions to focus on. If it's our service options, if it's um, the other qualifications we offer as part of the portfolio, please let us know because we want to make sure these updates are as um, valuable for you as they are. So if you can spend a little bit of time after the webinar completing that survey, that would be absolutely fantastic. So thank you very much. Okay, so let's get started. Um, this afternoon session will take around 45 minutes and um, what I want to do is have plenty of time for question and answers at the end but as I say keep asking throughout and we'll have a little bit of a chat um, as we go through because I want to make it as interactive as possible for you all. So what we're going to cover today um, we're going to be looking at um, the new curriculum maps which have been launched for NCFE and CASH. Um, then we're going to be having a focus on the updates to the CASH portfolio that have been taking place since around the 1st of September. Um, there's around 76 new qualifications available under the CASH brand and in the CASH portfolio that I think some of you will be really interested in um, learning about. So I'm going to talk you through some of those. And then we're also going to have a um, fantastic update, hopefully, on the CASH alumni, um, which is a really exciting new development we've been working on at NCFE um, and CASH, um, which we're really excited to talk you through. Um, then what I'm going to do, for those of you um, who are familiar with our early years um, educator qualifications, we will have a QA and a which will focus on the alumni, the portfolio and the maps. After that q and I am going to stay online and we're going to do a bit of an update on our early years educator qualifications and focus on those in a bit more detail. So for you guys um, out there that already registered with us, this might be familiar territory to you. You can happily leave us at that time. Anyone else who wants to stay online and have a look at those qualifications and focus, please do. And we'll have a Q&A as that goes through as well. Brilliant. So let me introduce myself. My name is Mike Potts, and I am far more friendly than that picture suggests. Um, I do look quite stern on that, and I don't know don't know why I'm a lot more friendlier than that. So just so you know, and I am the new international business development executive um, at NCFA and Cash. I am taking over from what um, the work some of you might have been doing with Sarah and Jackie. So if you have any questions whatsoever, you can drop me an email at michaelpotts at ncfe.org.uk. You can give me a call on the number on the screen there, or you can follow me on Twitter as well, which is just Mike NCFE, at Mike NCFE is my Twitter handle there. I'm also available on WhatsApp if anyone wanted to message me that way as well. So please send through any questions and I'll be happy to help and support in any way. Okay, so let's get on and have a look at the curriculum maps here for you. Just before we do, just a bit of an update. I know all of you um, will be familiar with this, um, but just to let you know that cash, um, we've been around for 72 years, and we've got that means we've got 72 years real in-depth experience in care in early years. And we were actually founded back in 1945, and we were the National Nursery Examinations Board then. Um, and it was set up by the Ministry for Health in England, and we were actually supporting war orphans at the time, um, and that's how the cash came about. And, and really, over the years since then, what we've done is continually invested in really high quality qualifications, which are written and developed by experts that have helped millions of learners across the world raise their professional standards, um, including excellence in leadership, childcare, health and social care, and all of those areas. Um, so as I mentioned, again, it's really exciting for me to be joining the international team to be able to talk globally about what the cash brand does. Um, again, for those who want to stay on after the Q&A, um, when we run through the next few slides, I will be talking a bit more in depth of what cash can offer for you and those early years educator qualifications. But let's have a look at those curriculum maps in a bit more detail. We're really excited to launch these curriculum maps, and the maps are um, being rolled out across the NCFE portfolio and across the cash portfolio. Just as a bit of background um, for those who don't know, um, NCFE, the award 
organization um, acquired and bought cash back in 2015. So we now work as part of the NCFE group across a vast um, array of qualification and sector areas. Um, within this area, what we've tried to do with the curriculum map is really make it as easy as possible for you to plan your curriculum and map the progression for your learners right through from potentially lower level qualifications and early entries from level one right through to level five and the maps are designed to give you an idea of what we've got right across the portfolio and they do actually include qualifications branded NCFE and branded cash just to be able to support you for whatever you need within there as well. We've created a suite of subject maps that show these qualifications in specific sectors and how they connect to each other within there. Um, so what we're going to focus on in a little bit of time is the early years educator sector because I know that's what a lot of you will be interested in. Um, but if there was any other areas that your um, your provision was might be interested in, we also have sector areas and curriculum maps for catering and hospitality, retail, creative design and digital, sports, public services and travel, education training and assessment, um, which is useful for some of those supporting teaching and learning qualifications that might be of value to you. We have transport engineering and construction, business admin and management, which includes some of our leadership qualifications, which again, I know um, a lot of our international centers are interested in. We have health and social care, children and young people, and the early years educator qualifications. And really, the idea behind this is to make that journey easier for you to really map the progression of what your learners might need. And just as a visual for me, makes it a lot easier to see what our offering is, rather than having a list of qualifications to work through and work out how they might join the dots. These maps really bring it together to show how it works throughout. So I'm gonna get into that and show you a little bit of it now. Again, any questions you have throughout, just use the chat function, drop them in as we talk through it. So let's have a look at the early years map. Um, what I have got as well is I have some PDF versions of these, which I will full, um, full forward out to you straight after this um, session, so you will get a PDF version that you can have a look through of the early years map, um, which I will send out. So as you will see within the early years map, it conveniently um, is designed to look like a um, subway or tube map. Um, and the idea being is that a learner can enter at any one of these stops which is represented by one of the black circles on the map there, or exit one, any one of those stops as they want as well. So they can enter it at an early um, stage within there. Um, so if you're looking at the map there, you might want to enter at level one and then progress right through to level five in some instances with this. We're going to look at that in a little bit more detail. Within the map, what we've got on there as well is some support and qualifications that will really, really benefit some learners or potentially all learners um, with their CPD, Continuing Professional Development, with the enrichment of the programs they're working on. So if they've been working in, say, early years for a number of years, some of those enrichment qualifications can really help to develop them. It will also help with progression into work at some of our higher level qualifications. Um, so they really are beneficial qualifications throughout there. So the support and qualifications are down at the bottom left of there. We also have some specialist area qualifications that might be of real benefit to learners working within the early years educator. Um, one of the qualifications that we're very proud of and is now forming a big part of um, what happens in early years education in England is our paediatric first aid qualifications as well, which is a really useful qualification for anyone working within those areas to have on their CV when they're working within there to differentiate them from everyone else working within the sector there. Okay, so as you'll see, as I mentioned, the map, the tube map is um, follows along the lines. We have broke it down into certain areas where you would choose your route or you would choose the line you were going down um, into those. So let's have a look in a little bit more closer detail how that looks. As I mentioned, all of these are available as PDFs um, and as in terms of the early years one, I will forward this on after the session. So having a look in a bit more detail. Well, we first start on the curriculum map. Um, this is in terms of a learner journey, probably those lower level qualifications that a learner starting on their progression into work in early years um, may begin. So we have our level one award and certificate and diploma in caring for children. 
These are knowledge-based qualifications that really start giving those learners a bit of an understanding of what it's going to mean to work in those early years sector. So it's a really nice introduction at around the level one, which is around that um, GCSE DDU um, or um, kind of zero, zero to um, zero to five, which is really going to bring bring them along to, to what they might do within that as well. We also have introduction to early years settings within there as well. And we also have our visa qualifications. Um, the visa qualifications, I won't go into too much detail, but our visa qualifications are GCSE equivalent qualifications um, that are graded to start learners from around age 14 to 16 in England um, getting an interest within certain sector areas as well. Um, so our visa in this area is in child development and care. And then from that, we would potentially say from there, why not move into the level two, working with children in early years and primary settings to get an understanding of what they may be. So that's really your introductory journey as a learner and starting in early years. What the map then goes on to do is detail some of the key pathways and routes you may take as a learner going to work within those early years setting um, as you move through. So as you'll see, as I mentioned before, what we've said is a great stopping off point after potentially doing your level one and two is that level three award in paediatric first aid. It's a potential one you can do following taking that, you can move on some of your routes within there as well. So the route we have at the top of the map there is our level three award in childcare and education. And underneath, you'll see we have our level three certificate in preparing to work in the early years education sectors. Through these, depending on which one you wanted to do as a learner, you could then progress through into the separate qualifications that you would need to take. You see what we've also done on the curriculum maps as well, is we put um, some it's a small circle with letters in them to document what that means, what that qualification means. You'll see on a lot of them at level three, um, for example, our um, level three diploma in childcare and education, early years educator, that has an L next to it next to it that means that qualification will make you um, is available for you to be licensed to practice so once that learner takes that and completes they have a license to practice to work within that area which is the big kind of green tick that everyone is looking for working within this sector to make sure they they can do it and they have that full knowledge within there as well um breaking down these areas as i mentioned before to certain routes you can go down so we're going to look into the qualifications in, in more detail a little bit later. <coughs> Excuse me, I'm loaded with cold, so sorry about that. Um, we will look at the qualifications in detail a little bit more later. Um, but some of the qualifications we have here, such as um, the Level 3 Award in Early Years, this could be a qualification that you would take while not working within the area. This is a knowledge-based question um, qualification that could gauge your interest to see if you want to start working within that area. Further down, some of our more um, our diploma for early years, early years educator qualifications. This is a qualification you would take while in work to substantiate the work you were doing and have a qualification at the end of that to gauge your license to practice. So all of those areas are broken down within there. What we have done further down as well on the curriculum map, let's just move on there. You will see a small breakaway from some of the stops as we've called them or the drop off points. Um, where we've broken down the workforce elements. So really these are these key areas when you have taken the qualifications that you could leave the early years education sector in qualifications and go into those workforce options. So there's areas such as working an early years educator across the early years workforce. You could be working in preschool and reception class within schools. That's at the very top there we've got there. Um, you could be working within Senko environments. You could be working as a mentor or as a, as a coach within certain roles within there. Um, so I find that really useful just for those learners. Well, for us as educators to have a look at to say, right, what might, might our learners achieve? But great for learners to have a look at to say, actually, if I follow this route, if I follow this learner journey, this is the work I could be doing. These are the areas I could be moving it. So really useful to have a look at there. What we've also got down at the bottom here as well, as you'll see um, at the top, that's where our level three journey ends. And um, that was when you would finish off. Also at the bottom, what we have got though, if you wanted to move on, is some areas of specialism at level four and level five. So we've got our level four diplomas um, in the Steiner Waldorf early years, 
and childcare. And we've also got our level four diploma in Montessori pedagogy. Um, as we know within these areas, these focus on a slightly different kind of psychological, philosophical and scientific approach to early years. Um, but as the gold standards in early years education, we want to develop these qualifications to allow anyone in the sector to be able to deliver these areas. Um, there is specific certain areas to work in within these, such as um, the role of imagination in learning, the development and the, the research of children, really from birth to adulthood. Um, but these are speciality qualifications that are available for our level four learners within there as well. We also have our level five diploma in, within leadership in the healthcare and social care sector, speciality looking at that children and um, young people's workforce residential management, um, which is a really great and um, progressing qualification for those learners wanting to work in a leadership environment within that area. Um, something that we know we've had a lot of feedback asking for that qualification. So it's um, fantastic to have that in there now. So that's a quick whistle stop um, tour through the curriculum maps. Um, I hope you agree um, they're really useful for tracking that learner journey from entry level right through to level five. Um, as I mentioned, any questions please send them in if you have any questions about those um, and we can have a quick chat about them now. These curriculum maps and progression maps are available on the CASH website and on the NCFE website. But as I mentioned, what I will do following up from this is send a, um, a link to all of them and a PDF of the early years map so you can have a look through there um, and, and see, what's, see what's what with those. Brilliant. Okay, nothing coming in just yet. Keep your questions coming in, but we will move on to the next section. <coughs> Excuse me. Okay, so what I wanted to do now is just update you all on some um, key changes to the um, to the cash portfolio that um, took place back on the first of September. What we have done um, is part of an ongoing review. Um, as at NCFE and CASH, is um, we've re repositioned some of the qualifications we've developed to either the NCFE brand or the CASH brand, um, really for what's going to be the best benefit to those learners in their workplaces. So what we've done from this point, which was back on the 1st of September, was reposition the NCFE portfolio so that all the qualifications within Preparation for Life and Work, Foundations for Learning and Life, Sport, Leisure and Recreation, and the Teaching and Lecturing sectors sit under the NCFE portfolio. All qualifications in Child Development and Wellbeing, Health and Social Care, Direct Learning Support, so the Support and Teaching and Learning Suite, they all sit, surprisingly enough, under the CASH portfolio um, because it's such a strong brand out there as well. So as I mentioned earlier, what this means is there is um, 76 qualifications that have now moved over to the cash portfolio, which we'll look at some in a little bit more um, detail later. And these qualifications are superb at support and CPD, further progression into employment or further progression into higher level roles um, or enrichment and extension for your learners within there. Um, as part of this um, development as well, and part of the portfolio review moving that round, we streamlined our systems so that there is one system for registering on NCFE and cash qualifications now. Um, so when registering for either a cash qualification or NCFE, you will use one system now. So it's hopefully made that quite simple for you as well. Um, just one point on moderation that I would like to focus on. Just so you know, if you are delivering cash qualifications internationally, you will be um, assigned a external quality assurer that is um, employed by cash. who will look after you and give you that one visit per year um, to, to um, refer to all of your portfolio and do a sample of what you're delivering out there as well. In terms of the NCFE delivery, you will get two um, visits per qualification within an academic year. Any questions on that, please send them through and I can clarify that for you as well. Okay, so let's have a look in a bit of detail, the qualifications that have moved over. 
So the qualifications, as I mentioned, there's been 76 that used to sit on the NCFE portfolio that have now moved over to cash. And these qualifications can broadly be categorized into four key areas. So this is the care conditions qualifications. So those qualifications that are going to support learners that are working within um, residential care, um, child care or health care um, throughout that. There is specialist care, which will work, will really focus on those specialist areas of care, such as, um, say, autism, dementia, um, any of those care areas which really have a specialism in, within a certain area. We then have core practice, which is the day-to-day -day of really any worker or any learner working within a care setting or a children and young people's workforce setting. And then we also have sector-specific qualifications that are tailored specific to a sector area, which will help support within that. And as I mentioned with these, really, the idea of moving brands with these was to complement the existing health and social care, children and young people's workforce qualifications with the cash brand. And these qualifications are consistent of awards and certificates from level one through to level three. So hopefully these with that range of level, you're going to have qualifications that are going to suit most learners coming onto your centre, coming into your provision. Um, what we've tried to do as well, the majority of these qualifications that are moving over are knowledge-based qualifications that are going to help those learners gain a knowledge and understanding of, say, well-being, stress awareness, whatever it may be. Certain qualifications that have moved over will um, demonstrate competence in a certain area. Um, but what, again, what I'll do when I send you a link to all of the qualifications that have moved over to the cash brand, you can have a look through there. Um, and any questions you may have, you can you can send over my way. Okay. In a bit more detail, the supporting qualifications that I would like to look at are all of the qualifications that are really going to help support core practice in delivery of early years education or working within the um, children and young people's workforce. And some of the key qualifications that have moved over are um, documented on the slide here. So the personal safety qualification, for example, this qualification is fantastic at raising awareness of personal safety issues and strategies that will minimise risk of that worker working within a care environment. Um, so this is something that really could be rolled out throughout the whole cohort of people. Fantastic for their CPD, fantastic for their personal well-being and safety, um, but also gives them that development to understand what is needed within that environment. Um, similarly, and something that we've had quite a big success with within the UK and um, for a lot of workers is the stress awareness qualification that we developed. Um, and this is really a qualification which is a personal development qualification which develops a knowledge of the causes and effects of stress upon someone's health. Um, it includes coverage of how recognised symptoms of stress as well as ways of pre preventing and reducing stress. Um, this qualification is good for people to understand stress within colleagues, say, but also good personally for those working in within potentially a high pressure environment to understand the triggers and what might work for them within there. Um, a fantastic one, I think, in support of the early years in children and young people's workforce um, is the working with children qualification, which is available at level one. And this really explores the principles of supporting children's development. I think is a level one knowledge based qualification for any potentially younger learners or any adult learners that might have been out of work or looking to get back into work. This is a fantastic introductory qualification that really explores those principles of what supporting children's development needs, which will give them a taster of what working in this workforce might look like. So a really, really useful question, um, sorry, really, really useful qualification um, for those learners to take within there. So level one, it's a one unit qualification. It's short, guided learning hours are around 10 guided learning hours. So you can do it within a short space, but really a nice introduction for that. Similarly, a great qualification I feel within across health sectors and the children and young people's workforce is the help and skills qualification at level two. Help and skills really complements the delivery of early years workforce, health and social care programs, which looks at a range of skills of how you will be helping and supporting younger learners, or helping and supporting older learners within a um, residential care setting, 
um, really sets the benchmarks of what that service might look like within there as well. With that, alongside also the customer support qualification we have, which has moved into the cash brand, because this focuses on customer service in early years in health and social care settings, such as communication, responding to the needs of customers, the, the really important effective use of teamwork um, to make sure that you're working well within the environment you're in. Um, again, not mandatory qualifications, but massively important in terms of CPD and how you might be able to develop your learners alongside with that as well. And even more strong is now the fact that they are branded cash means that you do have that gold standard within the industry to say, yes, this is recognized by cash. You know, 72 years of experience, um, employer, employer led and employer recognized qualifications. So that's just a few examples of those quals that have moved over. As I mentioned, there is over 70, so I, I, I won't have time today to go through all of them. But if there are any particular um, questions um, that you have, please just send them over what, what, within the session. Use the chat function now um, or send an email over to me afterwards and we can have a look in a bit more detail than those. And just, just to reiterate, really, these support and qualifications that have moved from the 1st of September as part of the product transition work we have done really are fit for purpose for all of your learners and what they're doing, whether this is part of enrichment or extension to make sure they were engaged with the work they were doing, to make sure they can be stretched within their current work to learn new skills or within certain areas. <coughs> Excuse me. Fantastic qualifications for that. They're also great in terms of those level one, shorter level qualifications for prepare, for really preparing those younger learners or older learners that are looking to get into a new sector for work. An introduction, say to working with children, is a fantastic qualification to really put the toe in the water and say, actually, is this somewhere I want to work? Is this a sector I want to work in? So really, really useful qualifications for that. Great qualifications for continual professional development, CPD, to really show that throughout the year that they have continued to understand the sector they're working in and continued to show their investment in learning and how they want to progress within. And of course, fantastic for progression. Certainly some of the level five qualifications in leadership and management that we currently have, or the level, level four in leadership and management, fantastic qualifications for progression to move those learners that might have been working in a care setting or early years workforce for a, for a period of time that want to move into a team leader position. Okay, how do we help them get the advantage and the edge? We'll let them take this qualification. It'll be on their CV. It's that currency that they can then move to say, yes, I am qualified to work within this area. So very beneficial. Um, what I will do from this as well, um, I had a question coming in asking if these slides will be um, shared, yes, they will. I will share them after this, and we will um, we'll f we'll follow them out via email. So you'll have a copy of the slides. Um, I'll send a copy of one of the curricular maps out there, and you will also get a link to the landing pages to show you which qualifications are now available as part of that cash portfolio and within that cash brand for you. Okay. Any questions coming in from that? Nothing just yet on the um on the curriculum maps or on the um, qualification transitions. That's absolutely fine. Um, as I say, you will receive all the information afterwards. So what I would like to talk about now is something we're really excited about is CASH alumni. Um, and this ties in really nicely to what we were just talking about for about CPD and continuing professional development. Because we know that within healthcare and within early years working, more and more, you're being asked to reflect as practitioners um, you be, when you're delivering or when you're a center, obviously we always do this as a matter of course, but as learners, we're being asked to reflect more and more to say every year, prove to us that you are invested in learning, understanding the sector, prove to us that you have been delivering CPD. So what we've fantastically, and we're very happy to announce is that Cash Alumni will be going live um, in December this year, December 2017. Um, the exact date is to be confirmed, but I will let you all know as soon as I hear that. So what Cash Alumni is, it's a professional membership site which is dedicated to supporting 
current past and prospective cash practitioners and employers within there. Um, and I'm going to talk you through in a bit more detail what that looks like right now. What I would encourage you all to do, though, is pre-register your interest in becoming a member and let us know you're interested at www.cashalumni.org.uk. Um, and hopefully you'll understand the benefits that it's really going to have to you when I talk you through the next few slides. So what Cash Alumni is and what it does, it's got a couple of benefits what I want to talk through first is the benefits um, that it has for our learners. So Cash Alumni is really going to become your online home as a learner of recording your CPD. So if you had taken one of those additional qualifications that has just transitioned to the cash brand, say we had done our working with children qualification, what you can go on is record your CPD in a logbook um, on the Cash Alumni site, which is going to be a fantastic tracker for if you um, are potentially going for a new job. If you need to um, have a performance review of your work and say, what have you done this year? You can be able to have a look on the Cash Alumni site and really track everything you've done before. Um, it's a really user-friendly interface for those learners who are going to be able to log everything and have a full detail. What the guys on the, uh, that are working on Cash Alumni are looking to do as well is create a button um, within the near future that you would click and it creates a kind of CV template with everything you've done within your um, CPD log, which will be fantastic too. What we want um, Cash Alumni to be for learners as well is a great way of them to gain new skills through discounted training and reading um, in working with exclusive and interesting people um, and companies we're working with. So that CPD training you'll see there, which has got a little mortarboard hat on, you'll be able to click on there um, and you'll be able to ask um, access discounted e-learning. Currently, we are working with laser learning e-careers in the skills network and um, with cash alumni um, learners will be redirected to those sites and be able to take some e-learning from there to really develop their professional skills from the site as well what we're going to be doing for learners as well as part of their membership fee there's going to be sector news which is available so we have a journalist um, amy ray and um, who has worked in education for um around 10 years now um, and who actually used to work for NCFE. Amy is our um, journalist and really our sector expert who is going to be keeping an eye on what's going on in the sector and updating us on a, a monthly basis on what's happening. So when you log in, you'll be getting the most up-to-date sector news as a learner within there as well. What we will be featuring also is articles um, in thought pieces from some of our moderators, from some leading experts within the sector, which you'll be able to go on as a learner, access, read through, and again, develop your CPD through that. Another exciting feature, um, which I'll get on to in a little bit for the employer side, but from the learner side of things, is the job section. We're going to be teaming up with employers um, within the sector who are going to be posting current job positions um, and vacancies on there. So as a learner, you'll be able to look on there, click on the job section and see if there's some areas you'll be able to access there and see if there's anything you can apply for to develop you. As I say, this is really a repository for your professional development as a learner, which is great. What we're doing is we want everyone that has um, taken a cash qualification in the past um, will um, have the right to register and become part of this. So that's everything from childcare, as we've discussed, um, dental, nursing, health and social care. They'll be able to jump straight right in there and receive the discounts on books, courses, qual excuse me, qualifications and helping them to move their careers on. So exactly as I say, it's really alumni for all those people who have worked with cash before to, to drive their careers forward and have a chat with their um, professional bodies within there. And to, from an employer side, again, we want to work directly with employers because this is going to give them a fantastic opportunity to advertise um, vacancies and jobs that they have available at the minute. So they're going to get a targeted range of people who are working within the healthcare or children and young people's workforce or dental sector that are alumni that we know are qualified, that have went through our provision, that are skilled to a high level, that they are going to tap into that um, job market. So it's a fantastic opportunity for those employers to put, post their jobs on there as well. They'll also be able to give credits to employees. 
so they'll be able to the people they're working through to say right you can um, you can come onto the site you have some credits to go on there to post things to register to have a look at our job posts um, they'll have access to all of their CPD training as well events sector news and articles and features so really we're going to make it as interesting for employers as they can to come on because we're going to keep them up to speed with everything that's going on in the sector to make them as aware and up to, up to speed with everything that's going on as well and I've got some fantastic early news to share as well as an introductory offer for cash alumni what we're actually doing is as part of the launch is that we're offering all cash alumni registered learners so learners that are currently registered on a cash qualification will receive free access to the alumni site for one year which is great news so if you have any learners that are currently registered on a cash program please let them know that they have up until the 12th of january to register for free once the site is live which is again going to be december once that's live they can register and they're going to have free access to all that great stuff for a year and um, what we've said as well from that if you know any past learners that um, do also want to um, access they can also pay for access or get this free if they want a replacement certificate so it's actually only the current learners that are registered that will get the free access any learners that you previously had can register um, also though so please let them know and um, the current fee the annual fee will normally be 25 pounds so we're giving them a pretty much a 25 pound free gift to get them all signed up for that as well any employers out there for if there is any of you online that are um, an employer and would find it um, beneficial to post advertisements for um, for any of your um, workforce or something like that what we're giving employers also is um, you're going to get a free job advert and you're going to get two five pound off codes for your staff members to get reduced membership as well up until the 12th, 12th of January so if that um, if that is anything that would be of interest please let me know but yes we feel that the free access for currently registered learners is great we're going to have all that time to do that so please let me know if you have any learners that are interested and we'll get them all set up on that for you with access okay any questions on cash alumni from anyone just before we move on and um, again if you haven't used the webinar software before and um, you can chat using the chat function to your right hand side but if not um, I know what it's like within these sessions you think of all the questions after it's finished that's absolutely fine you can just give me a call or drop me an email and we can talk through any of those key areas afterwards okay thank you again what I would just like to do I'm just going to pause a little bit for any of your questions that you want to put through but just want to do a bit of an update for you all as well and um, the cash international team are actually visiting Dubai um, next week on the um, 20th to the 24th of November um, if you don't have time to see us then we are back out on the 22nd to the 24th of January and on the 27th to the 29th of February if you would like to arrange a meeting with us to discuss how we can support you please do get in touch um, any of those times available and um, of course if you don't want if you can't see us face to face at those times we're available to Skype have a phone call have an email so you can email me at michaelpotts at ncfe.org.uk you can catch me on 440-782-434-6685 or you can drop me a direct message on Twitter my Twitter handle is at MikeNCFE um, also available on, on WhatsApp if um, that would be useful to anyone from there okay I haven't had any follow-up questions so far other than yes the slides will be available after this I will send those out you will be receiving a link to the um, qualification transition pages which will look at the cash qualifications that are now available after moving from the NCFE portfolio I will also send you a copy of the children and young people's um, curriculum maps which you can have a look through which is great and um, all of um, those still online what I'm going to do next is I'm going to have a little bit of a focus 
on um, the children and young people's workforce qualifications. We're going to go into a little bit more detail on that. So any of those, um, those of you that are joining us that are a little bit familiar with this and are currently delivering, please feel free to log off now um, and you can send me any questions afterwards. Anyone else that wants to learn a little bit more about cash and those qualifications and focus, please stay online um, and we'll have a bit of a chat about that now. And I'm amazed my voice is still holding up with this cough, so thank you for bearing with me with this um, coffee voice as it goes through. Oh, great, we still have a few of you with us, so we're going to have a chat about the qualification so. Great. Okay, so thank you very much for staying with us, um, those of you still online. Um, what I want to do is just give you a bit of an update on why choose cash if you're not currently if you're not currently using us at the minute. Um, as I mentioned at the start, we have been around since 1945, um, which means we've got over 70 years experience in really developing industry leading qualifications. Um, and over the years, we've continually invested in high quality qualifications, which are written and developed by experts. And that's one of the key things here. The qualifications we develop are developed by professionals for professionals. So we have people that have set up nurseries, people that have worked in early years workforce, people that have worked in residential care that are writing qualifications for us, that are moderating. That is that are our directors, Julie Hyde, one of our directors of cash, used to work within those settings. So we have years of experience within this area as well. Um, the qualifications we develop are tutor and assessor friendly. So what we do, we do tutor guidance and we do a starting point for delivery, which is current and up to date. We will take you right through those so you know what you're doing, so you feel supported all the way within those as well. And within the delivery of the qualifications you're working on, we offer a wide range of assessment methods because we know that all of the learners you're working with have different learning styles and work and learn in a different way. So as some of our assessment methods, we have logbooks, we allow professional discussion, we offer Q&A, there's reflective accounts, there's options for all learners to make sure that they have everything they need in order to success successfully achieve the qualifications they're taking. As I mentioned before, you have one AQA for all of our childcare qualifications, which means you will get a dedicated cash member of staff who will be your EQA for all of your childcare needs. So they'll be taking you through what you need to do in terms of your assessment, giving you all the support you need to deliver this to your learners in the best possible way. And the key thing is really what we're passionate about at cash and what we've been passionate about for over 70 years is sustaining a quality skilled workforce. This is really at the heart of everything we do. And really with your help and contribution, we'll continue to develop the gold standard qualifications to support the workforce, because that's what we're here to do. Okay, that is why you should choose cash. Let's have a look at some of the qualifications in a little bit more detail um, for you all. Okay, so what we're gonna look at is the Level 3 Award Certificate Diploma in Childcare and Education. Um, and also we're going to look at the Level 3 Diploma for the Early Years Workforce in a little bit more detail. Um, just because of time, I'm just focusing on these two kind of qualifications here. As I mentioned at the start, what I have done is a short survey, which will be coming out to you um, at the end of this session. Please fill it in and let me know what other areas you'd like me to focus on in the future because we want to make sure these updates are as important and um, valuable for you as possible. So if there's any other qualification areas or specific qualifications you'd like me to focus on, please let me know within that survey. Okay, so let's have a look at the Level 3 Award Certain Diploma in Children um, Early Years Education. Sorry, the Early Years Educator Qualifications. So what does this qualification cover? So the Level 3 Award in Children and Education is really preparing learners to progress onto the Level 3 Certificate. <coughs> Excuse me. And then from that Level 3 Certificate, that's really then going to progress learners onto that Level 3 Diploma. So we see these as a nested suite of qualifications. So you can start on as an award, progress through the cert, and then progress through the Diploma, depending on what it is you need to do as that learner. 
What it's going to enable them to do is gain the knowledge and experience, which is then going to allow them to work within that children in early years space, to work with children from birth to five years old. It's important to understand that this is what we're looking at with these qualifications. It is for learners wanting to work with children from birth to five years old. After five will be a different suite of qualifications we'll be looking at. Um, what the level three diploma enables learners to do, so that's if you went through the award cert and finished on the diploma, that level three diploma in childcare and early years education enables learners to enter the work phase, workplace as an early years educator and um, specialist. So this will allow you to work with an early years educator once you've completed the diploma. So that will be that license to practice to work within that area. Um, just to be clear on that, learners taking the award, so the, the start of that qualification at level three, learners taking the award do not require experience in a real work environment. This is just a knowledge-based qualification. So the level three award Again, it might be useful for those learners looking to see if they want to work within this workforce in this area to get the knowledge-based element, they could do the award within that. Learners taking the, then moving on to take the certificate and diploma following this will need to have access to real work environments. So they need to be working within, a, um, within early years education because what they need to do as part of this qualification is confirm competence within these areas. What we're recommending for this is that learners within these areas that want to complete these qualifications will need to do a 365 hour placement for the certificate and around 750 hours for the diploma. So it is quite a chunk of time. Um, so what might happen within your delivery is a lot of those learners may be speaking to you to say, can you help me find this placement at work? Um, which again, their conversations you'll be having as and when you set up and roll out these qualifications. In terms of the qualification structure, here's a breakdown of the units that are available within the qualifications. What you'll see is the small ticks next to the units you have to take, excuse me, <coughs> for the award, for the certificate and for the diploma. As you will see, for the award, you need to take the first two mandatory units. This is looking at child development in conception to seven years, and this is looking at the children, children's health and well-being. These are the knowledge-based elements. Once you've completed those knowledge-based elements, if you wanted to move on to a high level and practical element where you would have your placement, you would be moving on to the certificate. The units within the certificate are, for, are following providing safe environment for children, um, child's health, play and learning, Understanding children's additional needs, observation, assessment, and planning. This is obviously when you will be assessed within the workplace, um, within your area. And then the final one will be professional practice, which is the cre creation of a portfolio demonstrating your professional practice within that work area. Following that certificate, that's when you're going into the more detailed units to demonstrate your knowledge and your competence at diploma level to get that license to practice status. So those areas following that would be the support and emergent mathematics elements, preparing for school readiness. That's making sure that obviously your learners leaving at five years old are getting ready for sec for school. Um, international perspectives, reflective practice for professional development, professional partnership in early years, and then your final professional practice portfolio, which will be completed within that area. The knowledge and skills this is going to give you really is going to equip you as a learner and your learners going through this with the knowledge, understanding skills across a range of key areas, such as the stages and sequences of child development, children's needs in relation to emotional and physical well-being, the role of early years practitioners uh, maintaining a healthy and safe environment for children, safeguarding children and child protection, um, theoretical approaches to play and learning, and a lot more within there. So we are the most up to date. We redevelop our qualifications um, in development with the sector skills council in England called Skills for Care, Skills for Health, to make sure that these qualifications are as up to date as anything out there within the sector. So you can guarantee that this is the most up to date content and assessment 
for working within those key areas. Again, that is quite unconscious at times, so that is quite a brief um, overview of what these qualifications do. Any questions you have regarding these, please send them over and we can talk about them in a little bit more detail. The next qualification I wanted to focus on was the Level 3 Diploma for the Early Years Workforce, Early Years Educator. And within the title of this, um, I'll give it away a little bit, we, really you need to be working already within Early Years Education to be taking this qualification. You need to be on placement to be able to do that. Um, and this qualification is preparing learners to become early years educators and it's going to enable them to work and care for children from birth to five years again, but also it's going to help them gain the knowledge from children age five to seven years. So this qualification, you're getting from birth to, to five years, you're going into that more detail, looking at those learners five to seven. So it's a little bit more it's a little bit more focused on progression after five years old up until seven years old within there as well. Um, and upon the achievement of this qualification, it is intended that learners will be able to enter the workforce as an early year educator. So it is another license to practice qualification that you'll be doing as a learner. As I mentioned for this one, we really need people who are experienced in the workplace for this, who have experience in the workplace. So learners need to be working within this area or they need to be volunteering within this area to be able to take it. Um, that's because it is all practical. There's no knowledge-based elements. So with the qualifications we've just looked at, as I mentioned, you might start on the award to get your knowledge base. Following that, look for a placement to then get your placement hours so you can be observed for the certificate and diploma. With the level three diplomas for early years workforce, early years educator, this is all practical. So you straight need to begin either volunteering or working within this environment as well. Because um, this is massively important in terms of the assessment process. And this is really all about evaluating your skills in real working situations as a learner. Um, and what we're recommending for this is around 350 hours across the age ranges you're working with. So that'll be 350 hours both five years and 350 hours, five to seven years um, within that. In terms of the qualification structure, the qualification is broken down into three themes. We have the health and wellbeing theme, legislation frameworks and professional practice, and the play development and learning for school readiness. In order to achieve the diploma, learners must achieve 23 mandatory units, um, and also complete one longitudinal study. That's quite difficult to say with a cold. I thought, uh, I hope everyone um, understood what I was saying there. The longitudinal study is basically a study of children within um, your chosen area, so from birth to five years or five to seven years, over a substantial period of time where you will keep going back to assess them and look at their development and break that down and research that within those your study you're doing. Um, it's best practice in terms of this development. Um, all will be broken down in the assessment guidance and qualification specifications for this. Here's a bit of a breakdown of how that assessment looks um, in a bit more detail. So as you know, as I mentioned, you'll have to pass all of those units. So that's all of the units set out within the qualification. Um, within there, you'll complete the longitudinal study. This is a mandatory test. This is set by us. Um, we will give you some. We will give you some um, guidance on what that will look like, and that will be internally assessed. So you will you will assess that internally for your learners taking that through, um, and then you'll be demonstrating your competence in a real work environment. So that's when you'll be assessed in your real work environment as a learner taking this through. And that is the level three diploma in early years workforce, early years educator, in a bit more detail as well. Okay, that was just a quick, again, a stop through, we're just looking a bit more detail about that. Um, for those of you who stayed on the line, thank you very much. I hope that was useful, the extra 10 minutes or so we did, looking at the qualifications in a bit more depth. Um, I will stay on, on the line um, for a couple more minutes if you do have any more questions. Just a bit of a follow-up again. Thanks once again. We are visiting Dubai next week from the 23rd or 24th, if anyone is available in Dubai. Um, 
Following that, we out on the 22nd and the 24th of January and on the 27th and the 29th. So please get in touch if you'd like a meeting or to discuss how we can take um, business forward or support you, please get in touch. You can email me at michaelpottsonntfe.org.uk. You can call me on 044-0782-434-6685. Or you can follow me on Twitter, which is Mike, sorry, at Mike NCFE it is. And I'm available on WhatsApp if you want. Uh, once again, really hope that was useful. I will be following up with the slides, um, the links to the web pages, the curriculum map for early years workforce. So yeah, anything from that. Um, I should have mentioned earlier as well what I, what I have done. This session has been recorded, um, so a version of it will be available for you if that would be useful. Um, please share that with any colleagues or anyone you think it might be useful to have a look through as well. Doesn't look like I've got any more questions coming in, so all I'd like to do is say thanks once again for joining in. Really hope it was useful, um, and I hope to speak with you all soon. Thanks very much.